Hey, Mike. Yes. Hey, you have a second? Sure. All right. Hey, man, I could really use your help. I'm helping out a citizen science project locally that's working with some farmers to see how their fields change over the seasons. And I really want to check these field measurements every week or two to see how the crops are changing over time and compare my observations with Landsat observations. But I'm running into some problems. When will Landsat pass over my area and how do I get these surface reflectance data when they're ready? All I really want is just for these, this specific pixel. What in the world do I need to do to streamline this process? Hmm. Well, first it's good you're comparing against Landsat data because Landsat data is the gold standard of calibration and validation, if you didn't know. Um, and. Uh, Normally you'd have to download, uh, you know, Landsat data, which is, you know, can be a, a bit of a larger file. Uh, yeah, then you open up a remote sensing or GIS app and you have to drill down and find that specific pixel and get that uh, surface reflectance data. Every so it actually time? takes quite a bit of time. Every time, yeah, unfortunately. But hey, guess what? We're uh, working on a space apps challenge to do exactly what you're asking for. All right, so the idea is that it's a web app that's supposed to drill down into this data uh, and notify you ahead of time uh, when Landsat uh, satellite is going overhead, uh, either Landsat 8 or 9. So it'll be every eight days because it's every 16 days per satellite. We have two up right now. Okay, so Landsat 8 or Landsat 9 will be flying and it will tell you ahead of time, you know, and you should be able to specify, you know, you know when you need that notification in advance so that you can go out there and you can take your measurements uh while the landsat while landsat is flying over usually between about uh 10 a.m and 2 p.m is best okay and uh then once the surface reflectance data is available for that pixel send you that surface reflectance data for that particular pixel uh, that way you can do your comparison as close to real time as possible as soon as that data becomes available Okay, uh, and again, it should be uh, quick, easy, and a much less onerous process uh, than you would have to do otherwise. That's awesome. That's perfect. When when can I get this? Well, uh, the Space Apps Challenge is coming up in October, so hopefully sometime after October. <laughs>